What's going on YouTube for us here? I hope you guys are doing well. Obviously we know cheating is an issue in Modern Warfare 3. It's been an issue in Call of Duty games for quite some time now. And Call of Duty has implemented the Ricochet Anti-Cheat System to try to combat some of this. Now unfortunately the Ricochet Anti-Cheat System often doesn't flag real cheaters and instead bans legitimate players. Hasn't happened to me personally, but there's tons of stories out there on social media that prove this point. And it's proven again with this PSA that came out today from Charlie Intel. PSA, do not play Call of Duty via NVIDIA GeForce now for now. There appears to be some glitch where players are being banned in-game after it's detecting playing via cloud as a cheating device. How much money did you make last year? What was the revenue of Call of Duty? What was the revenue of Activision? Like billions of dollars, right? And they still cannot seem to optimize their anti-cheat system. I can understand, I could excuse it if this was like the first year they allowed launching off NVIDIA or if it was the first year that they had the Ricochet anti-cheat system. But no, this has been around for a couple years now and it's been an issue for a couple years now and they never address it. They never try to make it better. Cheating is a problem in Call of Duty and it needs to be seriously addressed. However, they decide to just ban legitimate players instead. This is just unacceptable. This is a company that continuously fails its customer. And it's being showcased once again. This is why I'm so critical of Call of Duty. This is why I don't like to give them free praise. Because they fail time and time again to deliver a competent product to their customer. And they love to just absolutely tear apart this community at any given time. And they're doing it once again by banning legitimate players. And I wouldn't be so frustrated. I wouldn't make this video if it was the first time. If it was something we could excuse and say, you know what? They'll figure it out, but they haven't yet. This has been a recurring problem for numerous years now where they're banning legitimate players with their god-awful anti-cheat system. You're allowing cheaters to play freely, but for whatever reason, you love to ban players that play legitimately. It's unacceptable. Whoever is in charge of the Ricochet anti-cheat system doesn't do a good job here. They, they just don't. I, I, I legitimately do not think they're competent enough to get this right. At some point, you just got to bring in someone else. Scrap this whole ricochet anti-cheat system and move on to somebody else who's worked on an anti-cheat system and has a clue. Because nobody at over, Acti over at Activision has a clue, it seems. Everybody over at Activision loves to just fail their community time and time again. If it happens to one player, that's still too many. False banning this far into your anti-cheat system timeline is not okay. Early on, yeah, testing, things can go wrong, fine, as long as you reinstate those accounts. But here we are. It's Modern Warfare 3. We're in December of 2023. This was an issue in 2021. Nothing's changing. They're just so bad at what they do. They're so bad at what they do, and guess what? All of you are going to flock to that battle pass and just give Activision free money for season one. And everybody over at Activision is going to rejoice as if they've done something great. No, you just have a bunch of idiots and morons like to reward you for your lack of effort. This isn't acceptable, but this follows the, the trend that Call of Duty has set for themselves over the last several years of just not putting out competent updates to their anti-cheat system or competent updates to their game so yeah that's that i'm gonna leave you now enjoy your weekend video out tomorrow hope you guys enjoyed this one you did the like buttons there subscribe buttons right next to it see you guys next time bye